Get off trackers. Welcome back to Off Track HQ, which means it's time again for another product review. <laughs> oh, nice and enthusiastic again. So this week, you guys have honestly my last video, it was really interesting. Sort of I reckon it'd be close to 50-50 split whether people believe these all-in-one units are the future of 12 volt or if your old traditional battery and wiring everything up is still the best way to go. So amazingly, I had these guys, all powers, reach out and challenge me and say, we wanna send you a unit to test and use, and we reckon you'll change your mind and see that this really is the future of 12 volt. So I accepted their challenge and got one of them and we'll be running through the next couple of weeks testing this with, I'll do a side-by-side -side comparison We'll do a camping trip, taking your standard setup versus one of these and show where each one wins and where each one loses. And we'll be doing charging uh, off the car versus charging off solar and see which one comes back with the most capacity. The unit itself that they've sent me, oh, we've got to do the disclaimer. Into the disclaimer. So as you guys know, or anybody new that's to the channel, you'll learn, I now do a disclaimer at the start of all my videos to let you guys know if there's any money changing hands, if I've been sent the product for free or if I've bought it myself. This is something I hope other YouTubers start to do, as you guys deserve the right to know if they're getting a commission, which is known as affiliate marketing, uh, to basically sell you the product. So of course they're not gonna highlight the problems because then they're not gonna get as many sales. So I don't accept affiliate marketing. These guys again wanted me to sign up for it. I would have been getting 12% off these guys if I signed up to affiliate marketing, but I turned it down. I'm not interested in getting money for you guys. I did get a discount code for you guys, which is really good. It's something that I will push to try and get you guys savings. Uh, so I'll have that at the screen here, you get 10% off. But I didn't get any money. I did get sent the product for free to test. Uh, but yeah, there's no money changing hands, nothing like that. So I can give you a 100% honest review. There's no contract signed that says that I have to give positive feedback if I think it's a piece of shit. I can say it's a piece of shit. So buy it, don't buy it, that's on you guys. I get nothing for it. But so far, it's a pretty good piece of gear that I will recommend and that's why you're seeing it in this video. It definitely competes with Blue Eddy and EcoFlow. Let's get into the actual video. Okay, so what is it? It is an all-in-one power station. So you get your full 240 volt power. You get all your 12 volt power here. So you get cigarette socket, two USB-Cs and four standard USBs. You get four 240 volt ones. Ignore this socket. This has now been replaced. It was more of an industrial uh, power socket that they had on there for 30 amps that they've now just covered up in all the newer models. As well as on the front, this is your solar in and your DC charging in. So it's something to note with your all in ones, your DC coming off the car is gonna be really slow because it just charges off your cigarette socket, which generally means 10 amps is the maximum you can pull out of it. We'll be running through the uh, product specs to give you all the figures in a minute. Uh, your solar is quite big on your all-in-one power stations. They actually do pump in a lot. And then at the back, you just have your AC charger in, and this is really the point of difference with these units. The power coming into these, over 100 amps you can chuck into one of these bad boys, which means from zero to fully charged in just over an hour and a half, which is phenomenal compared to doing it off your old system with an ac charger they win hands down with charging off the roof and like look how small it is so this one's uh running around i think it's around i'll get to it in the in the stats but i think it's around 125 amp hour battery which yeah it's quite small quite tiny uh these guys have two ranges something i want to point out so the range that i got sent is their s range which doesn't use a LiPo 4 battery, different sort of lithium battery, which is called a Terrain Lithium. And the difference between the two is Terrain is really well known for being able to give you higher outputs and inputs with a smaller capacity battery. Versus to get the same outputs this can put out, which is 2,400 watts, you need to have a lot bigger capacity there with a LiPo 4. So it's just a different mixture of materials put together to build the battery. It's something you're concerned at for an extra 200 bucks, you can go the LiPo 4 range, uh, which will give you more capacity anyway. So you've got two options there, cheaper one or more expensive, up to you which way you want to go. Uh, and then yeah, as I mentioned, it has a 2,400 watt inverter, which 
will power pretty much everything in your house. I'll put up a little sticker here uh, from their website showing what it'll power and how long, but induction cooktop, no problem as long as you've got a single, it'll power that. Your washing machine, your fridge, we've been running this, testing it every single day, powering our fridge at night to save us having to pay electricity running our big fridge inside the house. Uh, also has two fans to help keep it cool. Something I've noticed, which I've pointed out in all my videos, and this will show you that I'm not being biased, is the life cycles of these all-in-ones is definitely a lot lower than your traditional batteries. I suspect, same as if you put a battery in the engine bay, it's gonna get quite hot in this unit, hence why there's fans, and that's why the cycle life is reduced. So these guys here are well up there with uh, all your other big name competitors in the market with your Bluettis and EcoFlows. So they're running 2,500 cycles at 80%, which I've done the calculations for you. If you do that every single day, so if you're doing one full cycle a day, you'll get 6.85 years out of the battery. So really it is ample. It'll get you past the warranty period, which shows they expect this will last five years, but it's nowhere near as high as your traditional lithium batteries where you can get 8,000 and I've actually seen some at 10,000 cycles. So if you're somebody that's gonna be really chewing through the batteries, that's something to note. If you're somebody that's just going away on an odd camping trip here and there, no problems whatsoever. The build quality, superb. It is plastic, but it is really well put together. The handles are made of steel to make them nice and strong. It's actually quite light. I can lift it with one hand, no problem. It's showing off now. <laughs> And I have to give credit, yeah, the build quality is really, really nice. It is something that these all-in-one units are really, really good at nailing. They look super, super hot, I reckon. Shall we get into the uh, specs, Ash? Why not? So, Ash will be doing the specs for you again this week, so we'll change over. We'll see how... Oh, I wanted to do the box. Okay, do the box. So... This is a box. <laughs> this is a box. Nice and fancy. I have to give them credit. Their packaging... Phenomenal. Look at the thickness of the foam. That's top and bottom. They really protect it during transport. You also get given a protective bag to chuck over the top of it, which is a handy feature. So when you're transporting it, you're not going to scratch it. Something really nice that they do. They also give you a bag for the cables and included when you purchase it is the 240 volt charger and your cigarette socket 12 volt. And you can buy extra. I've seen at the moment they're doing a basically free giveaway with the solar, char solar charging cable with it, or you can buy these extra. Don't be afraid of the plugs. So Anderson plugs, not many people know. Australia is pretty much the only place that really uses Andersons. Most other countries don't even know they exist. And this is your standard solar chargers that are on your roof. So most people run them for all their 12 volt stuff as well. You're using Anderson, which will be 99% of you in Australia. Cut it off, simple player of pliers, you'll be able to crimp on an Anderson onto there and swap it over, which is what I'll be doing after this video. Now it's your turn, Ash. Righto, I get to go behind the thing now. <laughs> You're not meant to come behind and film. Ah, you couldn't <laughs> decide between beach or bush today. <laughs> We're going battling after, leave me alone. <laughs> okay guys, I'm back behind the camera. Well, first time behind the camera. So comment below, let me know how I go. Let me know if you think I'm better than Ash at filming. Have you got it on this time? I do have it on. So what we're gonna do with the figures this time, we're actually gonna give it in Imperial and metric as 20% of my viewers now are American and Canadian. So we'll give you all the information you need. Take it away, Ash. All right, so the price of one of these. Oh, um, look, a horsey. Oh my God. <laughs> Focus. The price of one of these comes in at $12.99. Um, that is without the 10% discount code that you can apply to that. Um, do you yeah. want to put it up somewhere? <laughs> uh, the capacity of this is 1500 watt hours or 125 amp hours at 12 volt. Now the battery type is a ternary lithium battery. Did I say that right, Dylan? Yep. Okay, good. Yeah, so as I mentioned before, if you want an L LiPo, LiPo 4, you can uh, pay an extra 200 bucks and they do that range as well. That's right. the R range. Okay. Uh, the AC output 
is 2,400 watt max surging at 4,000 watts with a pure sin sine wave. Sine wave, pure sine wave. Uh, the cycle life of this is 2,500 at 80% DOD. So like Dylan touched on before, that will give you roughly six, six and a half years if you're using it one cycle per day. And I will let you guys know there is a emergency cutoff at 5%. So if you go past the 80%, it'll actually let you draw it all the way down to 5% before it shuts off the power to stop it going dead. So, cause you obviously can't restart one of these portable battery boxes, but you shouldn't do that. If you want any of your batteries to last a long time, you're not meant to go below 20%. Is this my time to shine or? Oh, am I a bit of a hog? Oh. <laughs> um, the charging and discharging temperature of these. So here it comes your metric and imperial figures. So between minus 20 and 40 degrees Celsius and converting that is minus four to 10, no, 104 Fahrenheit. Yeah, they have weird numbers, don't they? They confuse me a bit. Um, the usable oil capacity, so 90% before the safety cutoff, so 80% is recommended. Uh, the 12 volt car charging, so you've got 90 watts or seven and a half amps at the 12 volt. For the solar charge, you've got 500 watts or the 41 amps at 12 volt. Were you gonna say something and interrupt again, Dylan? I was. So the figure she's running through now with the charging, this isn't what's on the website. This is my real life testing that I've gotten from the unit. Um, and the AC to 40 volt house charging, which we've been using it quite a bit, um, is 1,350 watts or 112 amps at the 12 volt. Um, dimension, nice and light, so Dylan can carry it. Um, 374 by 244 by 249 millimetres. And then that converts into 14.76 by 964 and 984 inches rectangle. Uh, the weight, 14 and a half kilos. So it is actually quite so light. Just light enough for Dylan to carry it. <laughs> um, or 31.96 pounds. And warranty there is five years or a 30 day money back if you are not happy with it. And that's a pretty good thing. Not many companies offer a money back guarantee. That's the first one I've seen in the battery. Yep. And these guys, honestly, it's as good of any of the big name players. All the stats are up there. All your terminals are the same. Everything's really good. I think the only thing it's missing uh, is you don't get the top isn't a wireless charger, which I think Blue Eddy has added that into their latest ones. But you're going to pay a lot more for a Blue Eddy, and this is going to, I believe the warranty is longer than this. I think this is five, and I'll put up Blue Eddies. I believe it's three, but if I'm wrong, I'll have it up on the screen. Uh, anything else we got to touch on? No, that's it for me. That's it from Ash. So we'll swap back over, and I'll get back in front of the camera. Let me know how I went filming. So as I mentioned guys, there'll be a fair bit of testing of this unit where I'll be taking you guys along for the ride and doing all the comparisons. So look forward to those over the next couple of weeks. And as always, like, comment, subscribe, you know what to do. Helps the channel grow as I'm here doing this stuff for you guys. It's, it doesn't make me much money at all and I'm just purely doing this to give back to you guys and show you really good products. So this is one at the moment, I have to say I'm pretty happy with that. Let's see how it performs against your standard battery setup and see which one comes out best. Until next time, see ya.